I was born with a strange gift. The ability to see what no human being has ever seen before. It's all mixed up in my head. The images, the sounds, the smell. I need to remember. Put things in order right up to this moment. Remember who I am. If I had to say how it all began, I might just as well start here. I found you by the side of the road in the middle of nowhere. Was there an accident? Did, did someone try to hurt you? How about a name? Someone I could contact? You must have family, friends, someone who could tell me who you are. Hey. You don't talk much, do you? Well, if you don't help me, I can't help you. Is that a scar? Is that recent? We've got to stop them. They have no idea what they're up against. Tell them to wait until I get there. Get back to them immediately, you hear me? You've got to stop them! Goddamn fools! How you doing today, Jody? Good? 
<laughs> I hate to bother you when you're playing and all, but uh, I believe it's time, honey. Right, Nathan's waiting for us. Mm -hmm. Oh, come on. I don't have any more chance. Hi, Cole. Seriously? Hey, Alan. This is nearly ready. It was due two weeks ago. I said it's nearly Hello, ready. precious. Don't you look pretty today? Here we are. It's gonna rain this weekend. We got a lot of rain this year. I suppose that's true. It's been particularly cold. No, it hasn't. Babysitting detail, huh, Cole? Ha ha ha. Very yeah. funny, Phil. Keep moving. Hey, Jody. How's your day been so far? Pretty good. Okay, we're gonna put this on now. Remember? It's just like a crown. Oh, yeah. Oh, now you're a little princess. <laughs> Don't worry. Everything's gonna be fine. I'm right next door if you need me, okay? Hey, Jody, can you hear me? Okay, let's start. Kathleen is next door, and she has the same cards as you. And we're gonna get her to choose one and see if you can tell us which one she chose. You think you can do that? Good. All right, let's go for it. First card. Subject's heartbeat slows to 45 beats per minute. There's an increase in theta brain waves to 4.5 hertz. The ambient temperatures drop <laughs> 10 degrees. We're detecting a resonant magnetic signal in excess of 20 Tesla. Craig, <gasps> you okay? Yeah. Yeah. I'm fine. Oh. You feel that? The temperature's down. He's here. I didn't know. Hey, what was that? Looks 
like Aiden is not in a good mood today. He's just playing with us. Focus on the experiment. You better stop, Aiden. Concentrate. You can do it. Next card. Next card. Very good, Jody. Let's try something else. There's some building blocks on the table in the other room. You think you can make them fall over? Good, Jody. Anything else in the room you can move? Jody, honey, the experiment. It's locked. The door's locked. Come no, Kathleen, it's not locked. locked. It's probably get just stuck. Give here. us a moment. Get me out of here now. Calm down, Kathleen. Go get the door. You have to stop now, Jody. The test is over. You need to stop. You can't. He's not listening to you. No. He's not listening to me. Calm down, Kathleen. We're on our way. Jody, something's wrong. She's in danger. Get her out of there! It's over. It's over. It will never be over. This dress sucks. I knew I should have worn something else. The dress is perfect. And you look great. Who are these people? Uh, diplomats, politicians, businessmen, spies. It's the usual embassy crowd. But most important thing, act natural. 
If anyone speaks to you, you just smile. So do you want me to act natural or do you want me to smile? I didn't know you had a sense of humor. Only when I'm scared to death. Ryan, I'm delighted you could attend. Always a pleasure she come in. I uh, would like you to meet my assistant, Elizabeth. I was unaware that American diplomacy was undertaken with such disarming charm. The pleasure is mine, Elizabeth. Gentlemen, I give you back your host. We'll talk later on that. Until then, Ryan. He hates me. The whole time he was imagining my head on a stick. He found you charming. I should be flattered. Okay, I'm gonna shake some hands, blend in, find some more quiet. You know what you have to do. Ah, Ambassador, you're a sight for sore eyes. I need to find a quiet place. Sorry, ma'am. This area is off limit. NBC personnel only. Biden, are you ready? There's a large painting in one of the rooms upstairs. Behind it is a safe. The documents we're looking for are inside. But there are guards and cameras, so you have to be careful. You got it? Hurry, Aiden. It's like hell when you're too far away. An office with a portrait of the Sheik. This is the place. Gotta distract the guard first. Yeah, heavy. Okay. Nobody will be able to monitor the main office now. We should be safe. Let's see if you can 
to open the safe. Good job. Now we have to read the documents. Make it quick. I can't hold on much longer. Okay, now don't move. هناك الرجاء الخروج من هناك على الفور ولكن ماذا تفعل هنا ان هم رحد السيدات انصرف من هنا ايها المنحرف Listen, I'm not sure. Maybe I shouldn't go. Jody, you've been begging me for weeks. You're not going to back up now. I don't know anybody there. They might all hate me and... The stress is awful. Let's just go. Just take a deep breath. There's no reason to panic. It's just a birthday party. I'm sure everybody will like you. You'll have fun, maybe meet some new friends. Go on. Oh, don't forget your present. It's a book of poetry by Poe. It's 50 years old and very rare. I'm sure she'll like it. Don't worry. It's gonna be all right. I'll pick you up at five. Have fun. Hey, Jody, come in. Hi. Hey, Kirsten, you come in? I gotta go. Come in, Jody. Don't be shy. Hey, Jody, right? Come on, we're in the living room. Some girls from my school and the least dorky guys we could find. Was oh, it a present for me? Cool. Thanks. I'm off, darling. I'll look after your friends and don't do anything stupid, all right? Sure, Mom, whatever you say. Oh, finally, she gets the hint. 
Hey everyone, this is Jody. She's in Unit 4 with my mom. Unit 4? The paranormal department? Ooh, what you do there? Bend spoons or speak to dead people? Stuff no. like that? No. Woo! Party time! I'll get the beer. Guys, do the shutters. Girls, do the candles. And Jody, you can take care of the music. Let's get crazy! What kind of garbage is that? Slide over. We'll put on something from this century. Something really popping. Kirsten, you're a genius. Daddy, you want one? Yeah, cool, sure. <laughs> hey, don't choke on it. I bet it's your first time. No, I've had some before. <laughs> of course you have. Hi. Hi, I'm Matt. Jody, right? I've never seen you at school before. You don't take classes on bass? I'm in a different program with, with my own teacher. It's, it's kind of boring. <laughs> I, I, I never get to see people my age. I, I suppose I've gotten used to it. So you work with Kirsten's mother? Yeah. We work in the in the same lab. She thought it would be a good idea for me to come and spend time with people my age, so uh, here I am. <laughs> I used to live in, uh, in London before I moved here two years ago. And you? Where did you live before? New York? Man, I love New York. It's awesome. I went there once and it blew me away. Do you have any hobbies? Anything you do for, like, fun? I surf any chance I get and I play in a band with a bunch of friends. And you, what, what are you into? It's gonna sound really boring. I, I like to read and... I like sports. <laughs> I mean, I, I can't, 
I can't leave the base, so it, it sort of limits things. Can I, can I ask you something? Why are you in unit four? I'd rather not talk about it. Sorry, I'm so stupid. I, I hope I haven't like upset you or anything. No, that's okay. Oh. Slow dance. Are you, you up for it? Sure. You know, I'm sure you hear this all the time, but you're really pretty, you know? You're not so bad looking yourself. You're not like other girls. I mean, there's, there's something special about you. I guess you could say that. <laughs> Thanks for the dance, Matt, but I, I think I'll pass. Guys, guys, why doesn't Jody give us a demonstration of her super mega powers? <laughs> no, Great no, idea. no, I, I'd pay to see that. Ugh, forget it, it's just a little bull. Yeah, come on, Jody, show us what you can do. Okay, Jody, you up for demonstration? No, no, no. I, I, I don't have, I don't have powers. <laughs> I told you so, guys. It's all bullshit. Right. Okay, guys. It's time to eat that delicious cake and, most important, to open my birthday gifts. Actually, the cake can wait. I'm opening my gifts first. Love, Jen. X, X, X. Oh, that's nice, babe. I bet it's knee socks. A thong! Just exactly what I needed! Now you can stop stealing your mom's. <laughs> and improve your chances of finding a decent boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> My future lover wants to thank you for making his life more interesting. What is that? An old book. It smells funky. It's a really rare collection of uh, poems by Edgar Allan Poe. A girl and who? What, did you steal this from your grandpa's library? No, no, and it's really rare. Yeah, just like your dress. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, is this a joke? I can't believe you came all the way to my birthday party just to give me this old crap. And she thinks she's so clever, but she's just a little lab rat. A freaky little lab rat. Yeah, she's been following me around like a puppy all evening, begging for it. Oh, and she's a slut too. I never wanted to invite her. My mom made me. Yeah, she's a slut. A slut and a witch. We should, like, do something to her. What do you do with witches? You burn them. Ah! Get her! <laughs> <laughs> Please! Stop! Stop! Oh, mistress of the obscure go! darkness! Let me Bring forth your mighty power! <laughs> please! Please let me no, out! The first moment I saw I'm her. begging you, please let me out! Please! Did someone say cake? Please! Yeah, I all this excitement is making please, me hungry. I I yeah, let's get this please party started! <laughs> Get me out of here! 
out of here. Please. Your fault we're in trouble, so cut it out! He's replacing Dr. Matthews. He's the one who's gonna be taking care of me from now on. He seems really nice. Go on, he wants to meet you. Go on, hurry up. I'll be right here, sweetheart. Hello, Jody. Come in. My name is Nathan. Nathan Dawkins. I thought it would be a good idea for us to have a little chat, get to know each other a little better. That is, if it's okay with you, of course. Jody, my job is to study strange events and then try to explain them. Like the things that happen around you, right, Jody? Your mother tells me you have an invisible friend. This friend, has he been with you a long time? Since you were born? Is he a ghost? Or a spirit of someone who passed away? Can you draw him from me? Mind if I take a look? So, this thing is your friend, and he's connected to you with some kind of cord. Is he here right now? Can you tell him to do something? Tell him what to do, and it happens. I don't tell Aiden what to do. No one does. He's like a lion in a cage. 
We're tied together. He can't go away. That makes him really angry. It's not my fault. I want him to leave too. It can be really scary sometimes. Did, did he do that to you? No. That was the monsters. your room. This is where you'll study and sleep for the next three years. Your training starts tomorrow at 5 a.m. Don't be late. Come on, Holmes, keep up! your grip. Use your momentum to swing across. Hurry! That's it, Holmes. Come on! I haven't got all day! Start again. Take cover. Aim, shoot. Advance the next cover. Got it? No, your result is wrong. Start again. Okay, recruit. 
Now get rid of those oil drums. Good. Let's keep going. Sunday stroll! Not bad.
Not bad, Jody. But if this wasn't an exercise, you'd be dead by now. If this wasn't an exercise, you wouldn't even be able to open your big mouth, Ryan. <laughs> Congratulations, Operative Holmes. You made it. Welcome to the agency. Thank you, sir. Yeah, Jody. Welcome to the agency. It's like you Great made job, it. Jody. Congratulations. Really Aiden. Come on, I haven't slept in like three days. Okay, I'm tired. I told you that... Crap. Evening. Routine check. Ma'am, return to your seat, please. Shit! That's her! That's her!
Yeah, I know. We gotta get out of here before they come back. be able to make it up there. Shit! We must have missed them! Previs! Bring back those goddamn dogs!
Go for it, Aiden. It's ever gonna let up. A motorbike. No, no, Just what I need. No choice. We're going straight through. Are you ready, Ian? She's headed for Baker Town.
were everywhere! Help me, Ivan! Fucking help me! them to leave me the fuck alone because next time I'll kill everyone come on Ivan I think they get the message <laughs> <laughs> 